going on YouTube? It's your boy OGTMA and E. And today we're gonna be watching the sad decay of A on Tail. Now I ain't gonna lie, back in what 2016, 20 I forgot when they made that song Roly. When I tell you, I do wanna roll it. Face that. Bro, that was the shit. And then the hoo hoo hoo. Man, damn. Then after that, after that whole little era they had, that little run, ain't hear nothing by them. And I'm just like, damn, what happened? And that's what we're going to figure out today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Without that being said, let's get into the video. Hey, I want to tell you pretty much a name anyone would know. They went from songs with billions of streams to not even being a thought in anyone's mind. So where did everything go wrong? Ain't gonna tell you been a face the world new since like 2015, 2016. See, these two had always been dancing. They was growing up dancing. They was in school dancing. The school had a talent show. You best believe they was gonna be in there dancing. And for a while, that was just what they was doing. But a problem came up as they got old. See, with their situation, yeah, they was doing all this dancing. But they pops ain't let them have no internet. So, yeah, they was dancing. It was talented at it. But they couldn't really make nothing of it because they didn't have no internet. They said we was always creative. We didn't really choose one thing. When we first got into music, Tayo was a singer. Ayo was rapping. But we could also dance and win talent shows. We got more serious with dancing as we got older. We had talents our whole life. But our dad ain't let us have Wi-Fi until we got about 14 years old. He finally let us get some internet. We was able to show our talents to the world. And it was like the second they got online, it was over with. Because they took over. If you remember back then, you could not go a day without seeing somebody trying to dance like them on Instagram. And so for a while, it was really taking over the internet. It kind of helped jumpstart the whole Instagram dancer wave back then. But how they was moving was real crazy. All the way back in 2016, like I said, they was dancing. And with them dancing, Man, all these people was gonna be watching. And one of them people that happened to be watching them was Usher. One day he hit them up, flew both of them out of LA, and had them little niggas performing with him at the BT Awards. And when they was with him, they was really locked in. They was really working. During that time, they said working with Usher was like a life changing moment for him because he was really teaching them how to dance for real. They said his choreo. Was we didn't even get far into the video. Golly. Choreography real hard. He was the first to formally teach us choreography. He taught us to dance to every beat, every hi-hat. And for the tour, we had to learn that in the first three days. It was 12-hour days. He brought us to Tampa. W. Usher. W. Usher. And hold up. He ain't let y'all have no Wi-Fi? Well, damn. Why? Center, really everywhere it all helped us prepare for when our song took off and we turned ourselves and that song gonna be real important later on but this one moment will put them on for real they ended up actually being in one of his music videos and really for a while after that music video they was just dancing getting money and with getting money mean you gonna be in getting money stores and they ended up in the roller store and what they ain't know is that this little store one was finna change their life and when that song dropped i'm talking about the whole world listening to it justin bieber cardi b everybody was just tapped in with ao and tail more than they already would where we come from all we knew it was G-Shock. <laughs> he pulled out the Rolexes out the safe, and um, they had different color faces and stuff, so we, like, immediately just fell in love. We were like, oh, shoot. Like, we gotta get a Rolex. So I sent, I took a picture of him. He let me take a picture of him. I sent it to my manager. And my manager responded super like, fast. He said, get wrong. out the jewelry store right now. Bro, we really have made a song. Just cops and Rolexes real fast. And like we were just being charged the whole night and just making songs on the on the instrumentals that they gave us on the app. The first version is at the end of the song when I was like kind of singing it. That that was how the first version was. So it was and like then, I just wanna roll it. Yeah, it was slow. And we went to the studio. Jazzy heard it. He went in the studio, laid out the whole hook, and we were like, bro, that was like perfect. And then I was like, Mattel, keep that, please keep that, like. Bro, just keep, just keep going like on the top of your voice, like just keep going. It, it, like, it didn't sound right to me because my voice was like raspy. Yeah, it was but, cracking. Yeah, it was cracking and stuff. But and Jazzy, so, but Jazzy was like, I'm telling you, it's gonna sound good. Who is um like, well, you said like a lot of celebrities and people were like reacting to your record and stuff. Yeah. What was the one where you were like, yo? Oh, that was like la last week, Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. Really? Yeah, yeah, he just posted. He was just turning up to our song. The three like, second three video. Three second, four yeah, second like video. Twelve just, million views. Yeah, on stage. just oh turning up. My in Dubai, it was crazy. That's I was nuts. like, bro, Justin Bieber, he never did this before. Were you like, yo, we like we're we're on to something? Like we yeah. got this. I, I mean, the song's at 70 mil now, it hit like 70 mil like a day ago or two days ago. So we was like, that's that's shocking too, because that's it's just crazy. 70 
mil. I want y'all to I want y'all to put that in perspective. Seventy mil a day. I don't know why the hell this keep falling off. For like two days, I I'm listening, but it's real. Damn, that's some shit. That that that's how popping that song was, and then they just <sighs> fell off the face of the earth. Today, Roly is at over a billion streams on YouTube, and it ain't that many songs that got streams like that. But look, the song kept going up, dance was going up, it got put in Fortnite, and really just became a song that people would know. But look, this is where the problems come, right? They dropped this big ass song that was basically impossible to top. Roly was so big, it changed their life. And when they started getting questioned about how the song affected them, this is what they had to say. It's still overwhelming. Even now, years later, it was a hit and it's still doing well. It gets millions of streams still. And it's crazy that we were just having fun and the result was that song. We made a song like that. We looking at it like we already know how to dance. We got the fans. We just tried the music thing and it went crazy. But back to what I was saying, they dropped a lot of songs. They posted a lot of dances, but the views wasn't hitting the same like they was back then yeah they might have had some big songs every now and then but it wasn't really nothing to keep them afloat in the music space like roly was just up here the rest of their songs was, was right here and that's fine because that's just how life be but but you can tell they wasn't hitting like they used to and throughout this time period it wasn't all good they ended up falling out with some people and one of which was they homeboy who went way back with a man named Haki. see it all started because Haki was staying in their house they was gaming heavy in the house so they was like all right look we all in here playing games we got to get the best internet we can get but it wasn't good enough for that man Haki. he was on the game getting mad he was raging he was like oh i'm lagging right so what he decided to do was Go and switch the whole internet plan out the blue. Keep in mind, this is not his house. This is not his property. So while Aon Taylor was upstairs asleep, he called up AT&T, had them people come in the house, switched the whole internet out. And what this one little situation started was a war. Here. That's about some lame ass shit. Like, no funny. Like, all, all due respect. The, like the little first clip when he was talking about his dad with the Wi-Fi, I was like, "Damn, that's fucked up." But this shit right here, yo, homeboy, you get mad, raging, lagging, cause you lagging in the game, so you go switch the plan. You're fucking lame, bro. On, oh, oh my soul, you're fucking lame. He don't even want to work with us because of Nikki. he said we don't really work with musicians anymore after high key. We knew after a couple months when he didn't deliver anything, he promised that he was a scam. It's his own reputation. He's ruining, not ours. We found there's very little, if any, crossover between music, but for that other talk. Anyway, if you know your months, if this left March 23rd, literally, and we trusted him because he's complaining about Fortnite game. Gaming with our friends, gaming in our house. I had Xfinity Wi-Fi set up for what they say, five thousand megabytes megabytes per second up and down for our gaming. Cause I said, yeah, we're all serious gamers in the house. This complaining, rage quitting, loudest in the basement. Cause he's ass at games, bro. Truthfully, this ass at games. Me and Mattel, we the truth at games. That's why we're in games. <laughs> if we were to stream Fortnite, and I'd be like, damn. He is trash. So this nigga complain about Wi-Fi. We trust him to get this other Wi-Fi in the crib. This nigga, then I wake up one morning, AT&T in my shit. AT&T is in my house. So I let it go. I let it, I just, I say, all right, man. I'm tired of rubbing my eyes, listen to this loud ass young nigga. Hook up this Wi-Fi. While my Wi-Fi is already hooked up. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, I was like, damn, bet. <laughs> I'm like, bet. So that's what God is, right? Then he like, who want to be the uh, the owner of the plan? I'm like, hey, we already got phone plans, but Key, we trust you. Wrong move, wrong move. We let Key be the, the the main holder of the plans. We got new iPhone 14s, but Key decided not to tell us the date, what the Wi-Fi was due, or the phone bill. This is, this is reality talk right now, y'all. This is shit that a lot of people don't like to get on the gram and talk about. Like, don't talk about real life shit no more. Scared to talk about what they go through in real life. I've never been that type of to talk to not talk about it. I would talk about it all, but it's temporary as life. So we trusted Key. This ain't want to tell us the bill date at all. This let our phones go off as busy and as business savvy we are. This let our phones go off multiple times, and it was nothing to send the bread through Cash App. I admit it. I said, hey. 
a lot of I've been doing, I've been paying bills myself, all the logins myself through me and tail funds myself for years i've been ordering food suvs we only ride in suvs when we uber me and tail don't have our license yet so we was whipping we, we had to call suvs we got personal drivers all that the niggas was not paying bread like how we pay bread bro we can go get the bank statements for real for real it ain't nothing to get them wells fargo bank statements i stand no big business it ain't nothing to go get them wheels, Fargo's fucking transactions, nigga. God, it ain't. <laughs> I swear to God, it's not. It ain't shit to get them statements. This really dipped March 23rd and left for months, and we couldn't even play the game no more. He turned the Wi Fi off. He just didn't pay. So the Wi Fi was on the lowest setting. Phones was on the, was just off. So we gave him time. We like, all right, we're going to give him some time to respond. I got text message receipts for that too, though. I got text message receipts for that too when I said, damn, like, you don't want to, you can't afford the damn, the phone bills and shit like that and the Wi Fi and shit. Like, damn. Like, we, we, we about to just go get our own phones and shit. So now, for the people that doesn't have my number and tail number, our old numbers, that's the reason why we had to change our numbers. And this is my third phone number ever in life. Mattel had the same number since the beginning of time <laughs> like this is his second phone number ever in life and we had to exchange the other iphone 14s for some new iphone 14s with different numbers i was like, all right bet that's that's cool this, that's god right there too i said that's god right there too because that we all was much needed as much as we wanted to change our numbers we got forced to chase our number change our numbers and that was actually perfect because that eliminated so many options and so many people that have my number, bro, and Tail's number. Now we're damn near unreachable. And you know, the thing is with these two, they had went way back. In the early days, they was always seen dancing together. So for them to end up in this situation, had fans feeling some type of way, one comment, damn, this sad hockey was there from the start. But the problems just didn't stop at home, boys. See, over the years, like with gaming, everything has just became so much more competitive youtube competitive internet competitive anything you can think of has became competitive and so did dance see to ao and Teo, they had always felt like dancing was just something for fun it was just something they wanted to do but the people around them kind of turned dancing a little too competitive for them and that started to affect both of them but i feel like we'd be too nice <laughs> god damn we'd be way too nice eight sleep pot these niggas want to keep spamming me with these ads. People call them a phone. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, it was always supposed to be fun. Certain think they doing shit in front of us. And doing the same thing as us or whatever it is. The case is. And still calling us, bro. It's some, it's some niggas that think that they just, mm -hmm. And we so damn humble that. With this dancing shit in Memphis Jukin, I feel like it's getting too serious. We don't, we don't, we never grew up with this fucking battle and shit, back to back to back, or mentality to the point where niggas wanna always battle with <laughs> Like, you know what I'm It ain't always about battling with this business shit. The thing with business, when you jump out of somewhere and you don't make it out of the flight, nobody make it out, and you talented. Dancing, music, drawing, anything. Bruh, you gonna try to figure out a way to help your family. So with us, with the dancing, we dance to our favorite songs, and we, now I'm talking about we know them. Like, nigga, imagine if you get so mad from something you can't tell nobody, and you just be like, I'm about to go make a video or something. Like, that's the type of shit you do. That was like a small little example. So long story short, I guess it's time to show y'all how to have fun again. Um, we about to just drop on y'all niggas, man. Cause obviously that was always the problem. Like coming out of nowhere, dropping on y'all. Come from nothing, the same place other come from. This world is set up weird to the point where they're trying to divide us so bad that if you good at something and you learn something else and you run off with it or something or whatever the case is, you will argue with your own folks. That's why it's crime on crime. Cause 
arguing and fighting to the T about. He spent real fast. I ain't even gonna lie to you. This, this is kind of giving me a bad. I wouldn't say. Let me know if y'all getting the reason, knowing the reason why they fell off. Well, fell off. All I know is they friends didn't want to do the little plan thing, and then they stop. Dude, have fun. I guess. Hmm. This that don't even matter. But do you even know what happened? We all came together on some crazy Avenger Justice League anyway. Like, like, do you know what happened? I've been told my I said let's dance to our own. Shit. Let's move our own. Shit. We making everybody else rich. Everybody else rich. We making all these rich. And to this day, they still doing their thing, dancing, dropping songs, and over the years, the two have dropped a lot of music. Now, will I get on the ox? play their music definitely not but it is one big thing that's really holding a music career back label problems if you go take a look at either one of their instagrams you see the same thing in their bios hashtag free ao and tail and if you look at ao ig he say free ao and tail the mixtape and that only means one thing that they taking up uzi route if you remember a few years back before tunnel of take uzi had went on this whole free uzi campaign right basically trying to get free from the label. And the thing is, it's clips of them online talking about it back in 2017 when they first signed. Now, are they talking about the same deal they trying to get off right now? I don't know for sure. But they were saying when Rolex first blew up, it was so many different labels reaching out to them, and I guess they picked the wrong one. Now, are they as big as they was back then? Nah, but that don't really mean nothing. These two came up from nothing and changed the whole dancing scene on the internet. are still around to this day. Unlike the artist from my last video, Young Chop, he came into the game making anthems and left in a jail. Hell sale, but along the way, that man the lost. Crazy. Well, I learned I learned some good bit. It's, it's crazy to see that they fell off like this. But, damn. I guess that's just how life is. But um, anyways, hope y'all like this video and I'm out.